what's up tech junkies my name is JD from JD Tech Gear and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a base mount for dual monitors more specifically this dual monitor mount is from Von Haas I'll be putting a link down in the description below I got it off of Amazon for about 30 bucks yep there's the name right there now this is not technically a review because I'm gonna wait to make a review on this to see how this thing holds up but as far as the installation goes it's pretty straightforward and simple but I want to show you guys on how we do it so these are all the parts included within the box of course you have the dual mounting arms you have the mounting pole the main clamp and there's an alternate clamp option you have your allen wrench keys which there are two of them and then you have um, the washers and screws included with a cable management clip and uh, the, also the mounting screw for the clamp into the mounting pole. So I wanted to take a further look into the cable management clip that goes on the back of the mount pole over there. You see those two little holes on the side? That's for holding the Allen wrench keys in case you need to adjust the height or anything else about the arms. And uh, that little bracket on the back, that hoop is for the cables. And these are the rubber feet that go on the underneath side of the mounting clamp to protect your desk from the clamp. And the clamp is simply straightforward. It's nothing that you probably haven't seen before. You just twist the knob until it's wedged between the desk and the clamp on top. So for my situation, it's a little bit different because the clamp is actually hitting the lip of the metal bracket on the side there. So what I'm going to do is put a piece of cardboard to wedge in between the plate and the surface of my desk to make it completely flush and secure. And this is in case if your desk is too thick for the original mounting clamp, although that would have to be a pretty thick desk. So what you'd have to use in an, in an alternative method would be this other mounting plate right here. And this mounting screw right here screws in to the mounting pole right there. So what that does is it makes a new clamp by using this base plate right here and mounting it in there directly through the hole of it. And then you use the smaller plate right here and you take the mounting screw and put it in between and thus you create a clamp that has a lot more space in case you have a thicker desk. Okay, so now moving on to mounting the pole to the clamp. So if you look closely, there is a hole there that matches up and lines up with the hole in the mounting pole. And then that would be your mounting screw right there. Now you gotta make sure, if you look closely, there's a little notch right there that has to line up with the hole in the mounting pole right there. So once you have those aligned, you know that the mounting pole will be secured onto the clamp. And you have to make sure this is secured so that you can get the best fit for the screw into the pole. So once that's secured like so, take your mounting screw and fasten it with your hand and just tighten it. So next take the Allen wrench key, there's two of them, so it's gonna be the thicker of the two. And you're gonna use the short side to get the most leverage out of it and tighten it as much as you can to make it as sturdy as possible. Next, we're gonna install the rubber feet. You just peel back the adhesive layer and stick them on. I don't know if there's a specific formation you should have, but on the picture, there was this sort of formation with the three on top and two on the bottom. Next, I put on the cable management clamp and you gotta be careful not to snatch your finger like I did. Yeah, that was great. Now there's two different ways of mounting this to your desk. You can either mount it with the pole and clamp on first and then sliding the arms down onto it or you can mount it all together. I recommend the first option and not doing it all together. I was just being impatient, but this is how you slide on the mounting arms. There's a little screw down in the middle over there. You'll see in between the two plates and you just tighten those up and loosen them and adjust the height as you wish. This is a close-up of what the screw looks like and you used a smaller Allen wrench for this one and you tighten it as much as you can so you do not have this thing swinging around when you have your monitors on it. So the mounting arms have multiple hinges all of which you can tighten to your preference. I would highly suggest tightening these after you have mounted your monitors and plan on mounting it to the pole so that this way they're not swinging around when you're trying to throw this thing on top of the pole. Or if you do my method, you do it all at once. So either way, before you do the desk installation, make sure these things are tightened down. So for the next step, make sure you know where you want to plant this thing. For the preferred method, clamp this thing down, make sure it's secure and you know where you want it. 
Now, if you're doing my method where you do it all at once, put some markers down so you know where you're going to when you have everything all attached. Next, remove the little covers for the mounts and also remove any pre-existing bases that might be attached to the monitor. Also make note that if you have two different monitors, make sure you know which monitor you are putting in which order. I have one for gaming, which is my main monitor, and I have another one for productivity, which is my secondary monitor. So I make sure which way these things are going to be mounted. If you have the same monitors, obviously that doesn't really matter. Also make note there are two different types of screws for mounting based on the type of mounting holes that you have in the back of your monitor. So make sure you know which ones you need and then also slip on the washers before installation. Once you've got your screws prepared, line up the holes and mount in a uh, diagonal pattern. So mount in one corner, mount in the others. This way you have even pressure among all and then retighten after those are all set. Then adjust the other arm to sit evenly across the mounting surface of the other monitor and do the same thing. Now this is not the preferred method, nor would I recommend this. Um, I just did it all at once because I didn't really think about it too in depth. But what I recommend is actually putting down the clamp down and the pole attached to it and then slide down the mounting arms with the monitors attached onto the pole. This way, you're not doing it all at once and having the arms flying around everywhere, even no matter how much you tighten it, because as you can see, it could be quite catastrophic. So um, it's totally up to you, but that's my recommended method. Don't do what I did. And for anyone who has a lip or anything else that doesn't let the plate sit flush with the surface of the desk, I recommend just using a piece of cardboard because this actually worked out pretty nicely. Also, I apologize for the grainy nature of this part of the video. There wasn't a lot of light underneath my desk, but this method actually worked out pretty well and I'm still using it right now. It might be a little sketchy, but no one can see it. And it's actually very secure. And lastly, make the final adjustments to your monitors and see what kind of viewing angles you like. And there's also cable management clips on the back of the arms that you can use. I highly suggest using them and it cleans up the look a lot. And I will show you guys what it looks like now. So there you go. I hope this helps you all out. And uh, if you're in the market for looking into how evasive mount is installed, this can help. Or if you just want to know how it's installed or just need further clearer instructions, I hope this helps along that way. As you can see, this is part two of my setup makeover as I cleared off the bases of my monitor mounts. So those are gone and now I have all this surface area and it makes it look a lot cleaner. Now for the next video, we're going to be doing cable management will be part three of this video and we'll be seeing what the desk and the whole entire setup looks like finally thereafter. So still quite a bit of work to do, but I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to take you through that process of how to do cable management. So if you want to see that, stick around. If you want to see other videos like this or other videos of unboxings and technology and all that sorts, consider subscribing and also liking the video and check out the channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, enjoy the channel, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. So thank you guys for watching. I will catch you next time.